people sometimes misunderstand um, the intentions of architects. What's beautiful about civilization and the history of human beings and architecture is that it's, it's millennia, it's thousands of years, and we build thinking that, you know, our work at its best is satisfying 500 years in the future. For me, heritage is extremely important. History is extremely important, and culture is extremely important. I have a basic philosophy which is to do with um, region and culture. I think, where is this in the world? Is it a desert culture? Is it a mountain culture? Is it river delta culture? I'm interested in these because I think that these things really specifically inflect on an identity of a place, which sometimes modernity makes you forget. After that, I really start to kind of look at the history of the place. What are the impacts? that have formed the psyche of the people. I then start to make stories about which materials make sense within that narrative. The Smithsonian was an international competition three and a half years ago. 70 architects from around the world were chosen. And it's one of those things where it was, it is an extraordinary privilege to basically complete the Washington Mall. But it is making, you know, a very important museum on the nation's capital, on America's doorstep. It's a, it's the Museum of uh, African American History and Culture. It acknowledges the struggle and the tribulations of the African American community, but it also acknowledges that actually American culture is better because you understand that on the backs of slavery um, was the kind of wealth that was built in America. And from that also came the civil rights, which talked about the kind of you know, universal rights, which become universal rights in the world. So the struggle and this blood that was spilt by all these extraordinary people has actually firstly shaped a kind of a unique country in the world and actually shaped the world. This building comes to sort of say that actually the way you deal with difference and racial discriminations and racial sort of separations is that you need to tell the stories. The more the story becomes clear, the more people are more comfortable with each other. It is relevant to understand America, to understand this and not to be embarrassed. I mean, slavery happened. It's not this generation that did slavery. So it, it is a history. When I was awarded the Power List 2013, Britain's most influential black person, I thought, <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's, you know, it's a double-edged sword because it's tragic, because it reminds you that we're still in this world where we're sort of having to negotiate these issues. But at the same time, I, I started to realize that there are young kids, there are contexts and conditions where actually kids of color don't feel that they are kind of part of mainstream communities. So the award is, was developed to try and empower young kids um, and, and kind of just offers role models in the absence of role models. So I'm sort of conflicted because when I was a young kid, there was really an absence of black models for me. It was pretty, you know, apart from my parents and some cool people that I knew because of, you know, connections through my family, it was pretty sparse. Um, so it is important to see people that are like you in the world, operating in the world. It just, it, it makes you want to then be part of the world rather than retracting from it, because you think, oh, I want to be like him, you know. What's really irritating is that, um, is the assumption that I can't be a person in the world, that I only have to be a person that is only looking at Africa, which is hilarious to me. And people say, you know, and so can you explain, you know, when I look at your work, it looks really modern. Can you explain where the African is in that? And I'm like, <laughs> excuse me? Of course I draw from Africa, it's my, it's my, it's my heritage, so of course I draw. But I draw from loads of other things too. And as an architect, that's what a, what a good architect is supposed to do. A good architect is supposed to draw from the things that he knows well and also the world. You know, we're planetary creatures, we, we're in the world. So it's, um, it's, 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 uh, it's, it's tough, it's tough. It's, it's sort of a burden that you don't really need. Um, and it's, uh, it's a bit sad that it's in the way. You know, because in the end, what actually, what, you know, I'm interested in just kind of adding to the, the kind of creative consciousness of the world. You know, that's my, I feel that that's my goal, that's my, that's my interest in architecture, is that it, it adds to the creative built consciousness of the world. And I want to contribute to elevating that consciousness. And that's, that's my thing.